couple of minutes, we've got some people we'd like to, to thank and uh, to recognize. And uh, first off, I'd like to thank all of you for coming. We appreciate uh, some of you all have uh, uh, come a long ways, and we uh, appreciate your coming uh, from great distances. Um, we appreciate the people from the Edison class of 65 and the Memorial class of 64. Um, we've got uh, those classes very well represented. The award for coming the longest distance is uh, Sandra Singer Anderson. Sandra? Oh, Sandra, there she is. Grade school and junior high school has come, he and his wife have come from the LA area. Uh, George Hilvis from Houston, Texas, and Jane Ann Martin has also come from California. So um, it's uh, been great to have you all come this distance to come to this activity. I want to go through a couple of things. First off, I hopefully you all have access to www.edison64.com. Um, there is a lot of uh, information that's been put in there, uh, thanks primarily to Mary Kay. Um, the reunion co-chairman. Uh, she's done a really good job in getting our website set up and hopefully you all have accessed it and uh, seen it. Um, I, um, and while I'm talking about that, I think maybe this would be a good time that I'd like to really uh, uh, recognize Mary Kay for all the work she did in putting in the... Uh, really put a lot of hard work into the website and to the reunion committee. Um, I also would like to thank the, uh, the people that have uh, been involved in our committee. Uh, everybody has, we've had almost 100% attendance every time we have a meeting, uh, which is just amazing. And, and Pam Bowen Bewley, one of our committee members, has been letting us use her conference room. It's a great place and we appreciate her letting us do that. Bobby. Ruben Warshaw has been very active and she's done all the decorations for us. Uh, Mike George uh, made the arrangements for this facility as a backup because of a potentially bad weather. And obviously it was great to have that plan and uh, we appreciate all the work that Mike has done in getting that set up. And also we had a tour of about 20 people came this morning, we toured the school. Um, and Mike was involved in setting that up. That was way too much. Bob Kenny and Jerry Bush. Uh, help. We're working on our, and Pam Roman also, we're working on our golf tournament. Unfortunately, uh, obviously the weather and the storm we had did away with that. Yeah. So I, I really want to appreciate uh, uh, all these committee members and also all of you for coming. I, I think it's uh, great. John Thompson and Frank Graves were our representatives at Memorial and at Edison. Obviously John Edison 65 and Frank at Memorial 64. We appreciate their effort. We did a survey for everybody last, late last year and 70% of you all said you would like to involve these other uh, classes and so uh, we listen to you and we have another copy of a survey up here we brought about 50 cents so we'll be emailing it to everybody uh, we'd like you all to uh, give us information on how this went whether you wanted to try to do something uh, again next uh, spring or summer and what you want to do when the meet and greet was so successful New Year's Eve that that will be an annual event until we're all dead so we hope that, that, that you all plan to keep New Year's Eve open uh, from about 4 to 7 or 4 to 8 or uh, if, if Joanne Gillespie has her way, it will start at 9 instead of end at 8 and uh, uh, Joanne likes it a little later. But we had a great time. We had 75 people at, uh, at the meet and greet or well, I think we're going to change the name to the Edison Mixer but it, it was a great time New Year's Eve. So we're going to continue to do that so please look for emails on that. That will be our next function. Um, uh, I'd also like to, there's two more things I want to say and then we're going to have a moment of silence for our lost uh, graduates. Um, I want to thank, there's so many people I've, uh, I've come to know this last year that I've been involved in this committee and so many of you all, uh, it's just great stories. Um, a lot of you all have taken care of parents, you've had children that, you, that have had uh, problems that you've taken care of, uh, some of you all have lost spouses and gone through the taking care of with cancer. Uh, there's just, a, a, some of you all are raising grandchildren. Uh, and you all are just uh, heroes. There's so many of you out there. It's just been great getting to uh, 
get to know you. Uh, now I'd like to have a moment of silence for our, our fallen comrades in the military, and then also, of course, for our um, all of our students who have passed away, uh, both at Edison 64, Edison 65, and Memorial 64. Let's see.